one of the requirement to find solution for a centralized login system for our client Adam Helpless is to implement Active Directory. So we need to learn about Active Directory now. In this video, I will give you an introduction to Active Directory. What is an Active Directory? An Active Directory is a directory service. For the ease of understanding, I think it's good to relate it with telephone directory. What you have in a telephone directory? Name, numbers and other details, right? Similar to this, Active Directory have a local database which holds the information about users, computers and other devices and these are known as objects. So an object in an Active Directory can be a user, computer or device. And the characteristics of each of these objects are stored as attributes. So what is a characteristics? A simple example address of a user is a characteristics or account expiry date we can call it as an attribute. So now Active Directory contain a database and holds the information about users and devices and we say that objects and its attributes. So based on these stored details now Active Directory can manage permissions and control access to the network resources. For a better understanding, look at this picture. We have an Active Directory, a system administrator who is handling the Active Directory and other applications. We have users and files and applications. So after you implement an Active Directory, users will access the files and application after authenticated from the Active Directory. So Active Directory hold information about users, groups, applications, devices, and the permissions are assigned to the users. So it became easy for a system administrator now to create a user, then provide permission to the application so that instead of going to each application, system administrator can complete the task from the Active Directory. And also for the users, it is easy because they can log into their account from any computer because it is no more local computer based authentication it is a central authentication so this add advantages to the management of the users and also permissions now for example a user resigned from the organization and want to disable all the access to the application to the files and everything it is just a matter of disabling the user account from the active directory instead of going to all the files and applications and removing the permission of the user. So I hope the active directory working is now clear. So let's understand what is a domain namespace in AD. In an organization, we have uh, devices, groups, users, and in order to organize them logically, active directory use domain namespace. So this make your life easier to identify a user object. For example, we have a user Annie. Annie will be identified in an active directory like annie.adamplus.com. So adamplus.com is the namespace. And a group HR department can be identified by HR department.adamplus.com. A PC is identified by a PC name.domain.com that is helpdesk plus that is helpdesk pc dot adam plus dot com a printer can be identified by its uh, uh, fully qualified domain name that is first floor printer dot adams plus dot com so a namespace or a domain name that we configure when we implement an active directory and users groups desktops computers printers everything the objects that stored in Active Directory is going to be identified by the object name dot domain name. So now you know about Active Directory and how it works. So an Active Directory is a feature comes in Windows Server. So if you want to implement Active Directory in your organization, then you need a Windows Server, right? Windows Server versions available are standard and data center. To implement an Active Directory, it doesn't make any difference with standard or data center, but I prefer to go with the standard because standard is enough to implement an Active Directory. 
if you go with data center the advantage is having unlimited virtual machines in a data center version but to implement an active directory standard is enough and based upon the release microsoft have 2012 release 2016 release or windows server 2019 and 2022 is in preview now there, there is no much difference between this version when it comes to active directory but i will be using either 2019 or 2022 in the entire demo and if you're confused about what is a domain controller and an active directory it's not a big deal actually once you implement windows server and the moment you install active directory then we call it as a domain controller so active directory is a feature in windows server and once you implement uh, active directory in a windows server you start naming it as a domain controller like you install a file server role in a uh, in a windows server then you call it as a file server if you install a ias role in an uh, windows server then you call it as a web server so similar to that once you install active directory you call it as a domain controller so let's summarize we have learned about what is an active directory how it works in brief and what you need to know to implement an active directory so that is all let's move on to the next video